Hello YouTube, I just wanted to make a short video about my yet again newly updated CNC controller and in combination with my CNC pendant and these are going to be shipped tomorrow to Matthew in United Kingdom and he also ordered the single rotor encoder module so as you can see here I have a USB extension cable because this is hooked up on my mini PC behind my uh, monitor so it comes into a cheap USB hub connected with a short USB B type cable to the CNC controller and with a very long cable couldn't find anything shorter to the CNC pendant and you see it's on one USB hub so let me first tell you the updated PCB real quick it has now also an has an enable LED sorry I'm my speech is a little slurred maybe I'm not drunk but it's late at night as usual so it has an enable LED and it now also has a LED for the A4 output digital or no, analog 4 output which is the mist coolant with the G code M7 and uh, I did away with the switching uh, circuit here so this runs on 12 volt now not on 12 anymore uh, what I'm talking on 24 volt I'm sorry so this is 24 volt board now because uh, the usual steppers you use with this are the DRV8825 and those are perfectly fine with 24 volts so this runs on 12 volt I also changed the pinouts on the top I will now make a PCB a new one for the stepper driver board which will connect directly to here and you have two inputs for the power if you connect the motor shield you can connect it from the top or from the bottom it will not matter and uh, everything else stays the same on the board as I said you have now enable LED output and uh, for the mist coolant so this is the PCB so it's right now connected as you can see the RXTX LEDs are blinking and we now move the x-axis or not hold on a minute plug it in Just one second, I'm doing this live. Okay, you know why it didn't move? Because I didn't have a uh, Universal G Code Center highlighted. I did have the uh, Opera browser enabled on the foreground on the screen. That's why it didn't move. So now I have Universal G Code Center in the front. And as you can see, if I just see the X axis. You see it gets enabled and the red LED goes on. This is the Y. I have the dual output switched on right now. You can see the two orange LEDs. I hope you can see it in the video too. And this is the Z axis. Up and down. So this works again. Let me just unplug this and close it so you can see that it just works which is actually great so unplugged unplugged let me unplug even this real quick usb hub cnc controller cnc pendant wrong way okay now i open the com port on universe g code center as you can see it starts blinking and uh, this is it now it should work life try you see y is moving x is moving 
and Z is moving. Simple as that. You have two more switches here that I have not assigned yet and you have also a navigation switch up down and push in. You can connect those in the code also. I will supply of course the code for the pendant and you can edit it to your liking. And uh, this was it. If anybody is interested you can get them in my store on Tindy. And uh, well, I'll keep it short this time. Thanks for watching, take care everybody and thank you Matthew for your order and sorry you had to wait a couple days longer for the new board but I just wanted to give you the new board. Thanks everybody and take care.